All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more. Is my audio at the right level? I don't know. We're here with more of the single player aspect of Hearthstone. Give me a second. Give me. It'll be quick. Yeah, we're good. Single player aspect of the newest expansion within Hearthstone, Dr. Boom's Boom Day Project. We are doing Puzzle Lab, and we're in the last four challenges of the Booms Day Project Puzzle Lab. We've completed Lethal. We've completed Mirror. We've completed Board Clear. We've completed Survival. Now we just have to deal with the last four here. They're, they're one of each. So it's Lethal. Uh, what was the second one? Mirror. Lethal, Mirror, Board Clear, Survival. Let's start on the very left side. Time is running out. It's Booms Day! All right, so we need Lethal here. We need to destroy Dr. Boom's big red mech suit, if we can. Garrosh versus Dr. Boom! All right. So once again, for this one, we're doing lethal, which means we need to destroy the enemy hero. One way or another, we got to use our cards, our abilities, and everything in play to deal lethal damage to our enemy. I ask you, why only collide particles? We could collide so many things. All right. Trying to take me down? You've got guts. How do I extract them from you? All right, so Dr. Boom's side of the field, he has a 3-5 Sludge Belcher, which has the abilities Taunt and Death Rattle, summon a 1-2 Slime with Taunt. So after this thing dies, it's going to be another thing with Taunt. Uh, Dr. Boom also has 30 health and 2 armor. Our side of the board, we have two Grim Patrons. Normally, they're three threes, uh, but they've been damaged once. Both of them have been damaged once for one point. Uh, and they have the ability, after this minion survives damage, summon another Grim Patron. So if this thing only takes one point of damage, it's actually going to make another Grim Patron. It'll be another 3-3 three, three that comes up. Uh, we're Warrior. Our hero ability is gain two armor. And... <laughs> uh, we're warrior. We gain two armor for our hero ability, and neither of us, neither Doctor Boom nor I, have uh, cards in our deck. In my hand, though, I have Whirlwind, deal one damage to all minions. I have Slam, deal two damage to a minion if it survives, draw a card. I have Fiery War Axe, a three-two weapon. Uh, Super Soldier, a two-three with whenever you summon a minion with three or less attack, give a charge. Frothing Berserker. Whenever a minion takes damage, gain one attack. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 2-4. Uh, Death's Bite. A 4-2 weapon that says Death Rattle. Uh, deal one damage to all minions. Dread Corsair. A 3-3 three, three Pirate with Taunt and cost one less per attack of your weapon. Oh, oh yeah, we have two sure. copies of that. Time. This is a delicate operation. Okay. So very clearly, I think we want to abuse Grim Patron. But I'm also curious if when we abuse Grim Patron, if we have the Super Soldier out, does it give them charge? Because it says summon another Grim Patron. But one of the things Hearthstone messes up on a lot is they use the wrong word in the wrong place. Let's fi let's see. Let's find out. So if we summon a minion with three or less attack, we give it charge. I obviously want to drop Whirlwind so I can make more of these boys that can attack. But I think I want to play the Frothing Berserker first. Because if minions take damage, this gets stronger. And it, it's going to get charged, I'm pretty sure. We're going to find out here. I'm sorry. This we know it's going to get charged. It's these two we don't know. When they make more uh, patrons. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I want to play... I think I want to play both of these, but I can't. I only have three mana left. Oh, I didn't say at the beginning. I have seven mana. I only have three mana left. but So I can only play one. But if I play Death's Bite first, or Fiery War Axe, actually. Either one. If I play either one of these first, 
then I'll be able to play both Corsairs for free. I think the smart thing to do is play this one first, the War X, because it costs less. I still have mana to use. I can use the other two cards in my hand. So now I can play both of these for free. Blood and, plunder, blood and, and they both gain charge as well. I'm just trying to figure out when I drop Whirlwind. I'm just trying to figure out when I drop Whirlwind. Let's see. If both of these attack here, they're dead, but that's dead too. This is when a minion takes damage. So that's one, two, three, and four. So that's going to be a six, four. And then he's going to get the thing. He's going to get a one, two. I think I attacked that with a Grim Patron. So that'd be eight. He'd be at eight, four. I think that's what I want to do. I'm clearing up the board. See, that's the trick. Yeah, you can make a million patrons, but you only have room for seven minions, so you got to clear the board a little bit. Yep. So he dies, makes a new, a new thing with taunt. Now, if I attack here, the taunt dies, but our grim patron is still alive, but he took damage, so we'll get another grim patron. We're going to find out if it gains charge or not. Yes, it does. He has charge. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, here's the trick. We don't have enough damage to just go right in. We need to add more to this boy. How do we do that? We got Whirlwind. We got Whirlwind. Um, Whirlwind would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This would go to 13. And I'd get, what, two more patrons? But do I want to play that first? I don't know if I want to play that first or not. See, I'm going to get two patrons. Every solution has a problem. I'm going to get two patrons. I'm going to kill this one. Okay. So then I can hit one of the new patrons with slam. Okay, I'll try to figure out what am I doing with slam? Why do I have slam? I see it now. Okay. So let's see. This guy can't attack. He already attacked. So he's useless to me. Killing him is, is a no-brainer. All right, so if I hit one of these new patrons with slam, I get another patron. It has charge. It can attack. This goes up and uh, attack. What, by one? Yeah, because I'm only dealing damage to one. Oh, no, I drew a card. Okay, so I have 14 plus 3 is 17 plus 3 is 20 plus 3 is 23. Plus three is 26, plus three is 29, and then I got three more for me. That's 32. Perfect. 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 First try. Perfect. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Boom, bots. Kaboom bots. Kaboom bots. All right. Uh, so Dr. Boom's side of the field, no minions, but he has 30 health and 30 armor. We need to deal a total of 60 damage to him. Our side of the board, we have the Spud Emmy, uh, the 010 mech that says, after this minion survives damage, switch sides. And then on its death rattle, it destroys whoever controls it. So clearly, that's how we want to take out Boom. Uh. We're Paladin, so our hero ability is to summon a 1-1 one, one Silver Hand Recruit, and neither Dr. Boom nor I have cards in our deck. My hand, from left to right, we have Recharge, Fill All Empty Mana Crystals, Circle of Healing, Restore 4 Health to All Minions, Holy Smite, Deal 2 Damage. Ooh, did I stump you? Defile, Deal 1 Damage to All Minions. If any die, cast this again. Oh, we have two copies of Defile. Uh, we have Divine Spirit, Double a Minion's Health. We have Haunted Creeper. Uh, 
one two beast that reads death rattle summon two one one spectral spiders we have wild pyromancer oh lord wild pyromancer at three two that reads after you cast a spell deal one damage to all minions we have the violent teacher i'm sorry violet teacher a three five that reads whenever you cast a spell summon a one one violet apprentice we have power word tentacles give a minion plus two plus six and that's it okay um Okay, so we got 10 mana. We clearly get to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. We clearly want to drop recharge after we've used a healthy amount of our mana. We don't want to start too early with that. Let's see. These are all spells that are going to trigger Wild Pyromancer. We want this to be on Boom Side when it dies. So let's see. What if we drop the Pyromancer? Like to play with fire? And then to keep it alive long enough to matter, how about we hit it with Power Word Tentacles? That's the only thing that's going to keep it alive. Uh, d divine, divine whatever. What is it? Divine Spirit? That's not, that's not optimal right now. If we double this later, we can keep it alive much longer. Which is what we need in our life. All right, so it switches. Now if we can find a way to kill it right now, we win. <laughs> we will win. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn. How much mana? Did, how much was that? That was five? Wow. Okay. Let's see. All right, I think, is it time to drop this? Let's, 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 the problem. If that fails, I resort to bribery. let's heal first. Let's heal first and then we drop recharge. So now it switches back with the odd number, which is exactly what we want. If it's odd on our side and we deal one damage to it every time, then we'll be okay. See? I think that's how numbers work. <laughs> I think that's how numbers work. Okay. Let's see. Defile is cool because this thing here, the Violet Teacher is going to make things that die to Defile. We just need to cast a spell beforehand. So every time this is recast, she automatically makes something that will die for it. Pay attention, class. So we just need to drop a spell. And again, we want it to be even on boom side. So we hit this with sp with with uh, 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 with spite or smite. Right. There we go. Oh no, do we want an odd on her side? I think we want an odd on her side. One to zero, yeah. We want an odd on her side, or boom side. So now when we drop the file, she's gonna make a, 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 make a thing, make a, an apprentice, a one one apprentice, and it's gonna die to this thing at the exact same time. Because it dies, the file's gonna be cast again. Which is gonna trigger her making another thing. He dies literally the instant he comes out. There's there's nothing in between. Wait. No, that didn't work. But oh, this will still work the way I wanted to. Oh, it's because of the pyromancer. It's because of the pyromancer. He's actually dealing two damage. Okay, whatever. This is still going to work the way I, I hoped it would. Make a thing. Yeah, flips back. There we go. There we go. What the hell? What the hell? This man has 435 health. Excuse me with that. Excuse me with that. 
Okay. He has the Northshire cleric. I know this card. That's why I, I was ready to start before. He, uh, uh, for, oh, I get it now. <laughs> He has a Northshire Cleric, a 1-3 that reads whenever a minion is healed, draw a card. We also have the Northshire Cleric, a 1-1, one, one, I'm sorry, a 1-3 minion that reads whenever a minion is healed, draw a card. We also have Sylvanas Windrunner, a 5-5 five, five that reads death rattle, take control of an enemy minion. Uh, let's see, Boom has no cards in his deck. We're a priest, and our hero ability is restore one to health. What's the problem? If that fails, I resort to bribery. We're at one health, and we have one card in our deck. I'm going to assume we need to draw it. Boom has no cards in his deck. Our right, hand from left to right, we have the swap. Swap minions with your opponent. We have battery pack. Refresh all your mana crystals. We have circle of healing. Restore four health to all minions. Uh, Akanai Soul Priest, 3-5. Uh, that reads your cards and powers that restore health. Now deal damage instead. A 3-3 three, three, Fungal Enchanter with Battle Cry. Restore two health to all friendly characters. We have the Lab Recruiter, a 3-2 with Battle Cry. Shuffle three copies of her friendly minion into your deck. Three copies. Cool. Uh, we have the Elven Archer, a 1-1 one, one that reads Battle Cry. Deal one damage. Then we have Power Word Shield. A, it reads Give a Minion plus two health and draw a card. Binding Heal. Restore five health to a minion and your hero. And then we have Treachery. Choose a friendly minion and give it to your opponent. Okay, so one way or another... One way or another, we want to use Sylvanas to actually give Boom our cleric. Then we want to continually deal damage to them, but not enough to kill them and then heal them so that lethal stacks and murders him. Because lethal deals one more point of damage every time you try to draw a card, but can't. So right now, if we were to tell Boom he has to draw, he would take one point of damage. Then if we tell him again... Later, he would take two. Then he would take three, and it would stack over and over. That's why that number is so high. That's the only way we can do this. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Take your time. This is a delicate operation. Okay, we want Boom to have everything. We want Boom to do all the work. So I think we need to get this card in our hand. Whatever this is, we need to get this in our hand. The only thing we could do to draw is uh, Power Word Shield. And I think the right play is to put it on his cleric, not ours. His cleric. Is the pyromancer. Deep. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Now we're going to draw, right? We're going to draw with our cleric when minions get healed cuz that we're going to we're going to heal this. I know we're going to heal that. We're going to draw so we need to put something in our deck. I know it's I know for a fact it's not Sylvanas. It needs to be this thing, right? Cuz it's so cheap. And we need to be able to do stuff. We only get one refresh. Uh so let's put let's put But wait, how am I going to I need to manipulate Sylvana so that the only thing she can do is steal a a cleric. So I guess I got to figure out how we're getting rid of this thing too. I want you and you and you. All right. If we draw. We deal one. We draw. Hang on. We deal. Okay. So we deal one to everything. And then we heal. We draw four. He draw four. So that's ten points already. If I do this. I need to put some damage somewhere first. I need to put some damage somewhere first. I think the only thing I can do to put damage down and still do stuff is the archer. 
But what I want to hit? I want to hit something. I just don't know what I want to hit. If I hit this, I can start to get rid of him. Yeah, and then playing a spell will trigger the Pyromancer. I feel like we're not going to use Soul Priest here. That's a trap card. That's a trap card. Because we want to heal. No Soul Priest allowed. Sorry, baby. Let's see. Okay, what if if we refresh here, what do we do? Uh, these two die. These four take damage. And then we heal? Do we heal them? No. We don't heal his. We heal ours. Okay. Let's refresh. It's good to plan ahead. Results are guaranteed. So now if we play this, we'll heal all of our characters, including me. Including me. Oh, and healing is going to make us draw for this. We're going to get those three, uh, what's it called, back. Yeah, we're going to stack it. We're going to stack everything so that... We're going to stack everything so Boom has all of our stuff. We're just going to make it ugly. Is someone injured? Is someone injured? Is someone injured? Oh, they're going to be injured, all right. Five health to a minion and a hero. We don't want to heal this because then we're going to draw ourselves into trouble. So we want to hit anything here, anything here. So we heal for five. We're going to take uh, we're going to be at eight health and then everything down here is going to take one damage. Bro, this is going to be ugly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, yeah, eight. Oh, my God. It's even worse because there's four of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one. Eight times. Oh my God. Is it all gonna be just off one round of healing? Like I would have to do two things? That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. What do we have left? We're not playing the soul priest. If I swap and then I play treachery. That's going to destroy this once it's on my side, right? Remember, and then healing. Has a problem. That was clean. That was a clean transition there. And then if I do this, it's going to break them, right? Yes. So now when I drop Circle of Healing, Boom's dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's off just this one. So then there's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then there, that's because that's this one. So it's going to go all the way to 28. He's going to gain 28 plus 27 plus. I want to see this. I want to see this. This is going to be ugly. Oh, and it starts at 3 because that was already there. Or it starts at 4, rather. So what? 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. Was it 28? So up. You go up 3. So it goes all the way to 31. How much damage is that? Let me calculate this real quick. It goes all the way to what? 31? This is ugly. <laughs> How much is that? Okay, so plus 29 plus 30 plus 31. Boom is currently taking 490 points of damage. That's ugly.
<laughs> and he's still taking it. This should be the last one, though, right? Great job. <laughs> Great job. Oh, my God. $9.99. Oh, if you were paying attention, the last the last challenge was called Never Go Full Northshire. That's a reference. And now this one's referencing that one because this was called Full Northshire. Was it, what did he start at? 435? That's almost half of this. That's almost half. So, <laughs> Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. It mostly looks like the same thing. Maybe the cards in my hand are different. Uh, okay, so Boom has 999 health. He has one 1-3 one, Northshire Cleric that will draw him a card whenever he's healed and no cards in deck. We have one Northshire Cleric uh, that will draw him a car, will draw us a card whenever a minion is healed. We also have Sylvanas Windrunner, a 5-5 five, five for death rattle. Take control of a mini, mi, mi, random, mi, na, but, uh, uh, random enemy minion. And we have one card in our deck. I don't know what card that is. I assume it's going to be... Uh, another wild pyromancer because our hand is otherwise oh no this car is different but otherwise our, our hand is exactly the same it looks like instead of the guy that made three copies of the northshire cleric we have the undercover reporter a one two that reads battle cry choose a minion put two copies of it on top of your deck okay i'm sure that makes all the difference i'm sure that makes all the difference all right, let's see. <sighs> what did you do last time? Last time we started with Power World Shield. I don't know if that'll work this time around. It's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. I don't know if it'll work this time. Can we start with this and instead put the clerics in already? What if that's a cleric there? What if that's a cleric in our deck? So there's two there. Okay. Uh, we can hit that for one. Give it power word shield. We'll draw a clearing. If we play the claret and then heal, we'll draw both those cards. That sounds solid. One shot, one kill. I'm going to deal the damage here. <laughs> then give this power word shield. So we draw one of the clerics. If we play this and then heal that, we'll draw the other cleric that we put there and then whatever the other card is. So the cleric we put in, and then the pyromancer. Okay, so he is back. He's going to draw a card because of his cleric. That's one point. <laughs> we got one point down. Okay. Is it... That's all the clerics we're going to have. So let's go ahead and ooh. Ooh. let's refresh and then give them the clerics and then give them that cleric too. Ooh, maybe I should have played this first. Ooh, maybe I should have played this first. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Nobody's perfect except me. It's my worst flaw. All right, let's make a copy. Get the scoop. We drew it out with a uh, power word shield. One shot, one kill. I put that there because I want this to stay alive. I want this to help with the healing. Right. He takes one. We play this. 
Is someone injured? Now, if I play the Pyromancer before we switch, if I play the Pyromancer before we switch, he's going to have my Pyromancer, and I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. Let's get the mana back. We swap. Then I play Pyromancer and then Treachery. Here you go, fam. Okay. If I play Fungal Enchanter, he's going to keep this alive. I'm going to heal. He's going to take one, two, three, four rounds of fatigue. So he's going to go to what? Uh, he's going to take two, three, four, and five. Two, three is five. Four is, uh, uh, that'd be 14. I'm sorry. He's going to take for these two. Oh, it's going to stack again. I know that's not it. That's not all it's going to stack, but it's going to stack again. I forgot these here exist too. Okay. So if I play this, it's time for some healing. So that's the first round. No wait. They only they they didn't heal. It was this that healed. So it was only one uh I'm sorry. It was only two, three, four, and five. Okay, got it. Let's see. Not yet. I need to play another spell so that these get damaged too. Finding heal. If I heal what do I want to heal? Don't want to heal. This? I guess it don't matter. Everything took one damage. All right. I guess it doesn't matter. Ah, I did matter that I healed this because I played a spell. Why Pyramus is going to lose his mind. Okay. So now everything is as low as it can get pretty much. So if we drop Circle of Healing, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Four times over. So that's 36. It's going to go from what? 10 to... <laughs> oh, my God. How oh, long is it going to take? It's 134 at the bottom of the level. I'm not going to mess with the math on this one. I'm not going to mess with the math. I'm answering emails. I don't know if you can hear me typing or not, but I'm, <laughs> I'm actually handling real world business while this does its thing. deal with Dr. Booms Booms Day booming. <laughs> All right. So that's it for lethal. 
I'm deal. I'm. Uh, I've been doing these on on like dailies. What I mean is, I did all of Lethal in one day. I did all of Mirror in one day, you know, and so forth. I'm doing Secret Lab day by day. So, like, today I did Lethal. Tomorrow I'm going to record more, uh, and I'll record for, I guess, Mirror. I'll do I'll do Board Clear the day after. I'll do Survival the day after. All right? This is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. I'm actually excited to, to finish Boom's Day Project. It's kind of, it's kind of staggered. It made me upset to be taking so long to go through it to be honest i like puzzles like this if you guys enjoyed this video and would love to see more then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video ask that subscribe button and turn on notifications that way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel or whenever i do something special like dr booms the booms day project puzzle lab thank you guys for checking us out and i'll catch you later with more here on out